Okay, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to install PHP uh, admin, my admin 3.1.2. Uh, I've also have uh, already downloaded PHP fix, which is a file that I created to uh, fix it. Uh, PHP, if you've not uh, done that already, you need to go ahead and uh, read my uh, PHP tutorial. At the bare minimum, you will need to go ahead and uh, copy the contents of PHP. Uh, root folder over to your system 32 folder and anyways uh, so to begin this we'll assume that you've already done that so we'll go to uh, we'll go ahead and fix the first part which is in uh, Apache and wherever you installed PHP and then the extensions folder and we'll go ahead and open that and then I have a folder in here for PHP extension and then we need to select these four files and we're going to have to stop patchy real fast and then I'm going to take and drag and drop those and I want to yes you replace two of the files and now we're done with this and then the next step is we're going to go to uh, my htdocs folder and we'll drag and drop the uh, oh, no, actually do that backwards open this up and then drag and drop the folder in it there we go and we'll close that and then I want to rename this to my admin PHP my admin like that and next we'll go ahead and uh, start Apache again All right, once that's up and going, we will launch our browser. We'll go to localhost, PHP, my admin, and uh, then setup, and index.php. All right, and you should see this here. And now I forgot to create the uh, folder config. So what we'll do, we'll go to uh, PHP, my admin folder. And I'll create a new uh, folder. And then we will tile, tile it config. And now we should be able to click back on this and click refresh. And that's gone now. Well, we're not worried about these other two warnings. We'll go ahead and click on new server. Go down. Localhost is fine. You can leave uh, this default. The default is 3306. I'm just typing it just because, but you don't have to. And you can, uh, if you installed Apache with SSL, you can go ahead and check that. My PHP extension to use, we'll use uh, MySQL. Or you can use MySQLi if, uh, if it supports it. And then connection type, uh, we'll just leave the rest as is. And we'll click save. All right. You see, it created a blowfish secret since we didn't define one, and that's perfectly fine. Now we'll just click save again. Now we'll minimize this. Inside the config folder that we created should be config.inc.php. We're going to cut it. Go up one folder to PHP my admin, and we'll just take and paste it. All right, and now we should be able to go to localhost forward slash PHP my admin forward slash index dot PHP. All right, and I don't know what that crazy crap is, but it doesn't matter. We're going to type in root. And then whatever you set your uh, root password to during your MySQL install, and hit enter. And there you go. Now you should be inside. Should not have any sort of warnings or anything like that. And now you're ready to start creating a database to create your first new database. Just type in whatever the name of the database is and then click create and it will have successfully created it and there you go now you have PHP my admin working and that concludes this series of tutorials now you have uh, 
If you followed the whole series, you have Apache Server, MySQL, PHP MyAdmin, and PHP 5. 